I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I want you to hear something. If you're burdened, if you're hurting, if you're sick, if you're periled, if you're financially challenged, if these are the items plus other attacks that are happening to your life and you're still standing, I want to congratulate you. Now, I'm going to be sending back all the handkerchiefs that y'all sent in. They'll have some anointing oil on them, and they will be prayed over. But come up close. Come up close. Come up close to me. If you've got a heavy burden, if you've been attacked, if you are sick, and you're still standing, I want to congratulate you because it is not easy your grandparents and your grandparents, great-grandparents, did not have to face what you are facing now in world conditions. I want to call this the Elder Butler Award. Y'all know Elder Butler. You should know him. Very strong man. One of the strongest men I've, I've, I've ever seen. I want to call it the Elder Butler Award. Listen, if you are still standing, you know, there used to be a time, even in New York City, when you didn't have to lock your doors. Did you know that? Yeah, it's true. In a great metropolis like New York or Chicago ghetto, you didn't have to lock your doors. Neighbors were neighbors. People were friendly. Everybody knew each other. People trusted one another. People had morals. They were honest. They were hardworking. They were decent. In Chicago, New York, you did not have to lock your doors in Harlem. Did you know that? Well, times have changed. And so what I want to give you a, if you will, comparative, if you will, time. And if you are still standing, if you are still, and I'm going to pray tonight, but if you are still, if you are making it in the midst of these tribula tribulation, most difficult times, and you are still standing in the midst of the burdens, the attacks that are against you, the financial challenges, I mean, a one-bedroom apartment in, in, in Harlem, New York City can cost you $5,000. And if you don't, and then the, Lord, the, the landlord wants three months' rent. But if you are still standing, and what we're going to do is they call this the Elder Butler Reward, then you are a mighty person. Because your, your grandmothers and grandfathers and great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers did not have it the way we have it now. And by the way, if you're in Oklahoma, Tulsa, if you're down in Dallas, or if you're in whatever the small cities of, of Louisiana or Florida, you're the, 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 the pressure that is on every human being to be a Christian, the pressure to be righteous, the, per, the pressure to seek after the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, has, has the, the enemy against that has never been as great as it is as you and I now speak in this year, 2024. And if you're still standing, you haven't fallen, the sickness haven't taken you out to the casket, to the graveyard, the financials have not thrown you out of, the, out of your house, the haters have not been able to overcome you, then I want to give you the Elder Butler Award. And I don't give this out uh, uh, lightly. My tender, I, I, are y'all understanding what I'm saying? There has never been a time where humanity has had to deal with the pressure to be righteous, the pressure even just to be right. Forget about righteousness, just to be right, just to seek the truth, just to want to know the truth, just to try to live according to the standard. Here, here's what you want, might want to look at in this other Butler reward. You might want to look at the fact that Years ago, our family, our mothers and fathers, taught us morals and taught us things that how to be neighborly, how to be honest around one another. And we're trying to live by those same standards, teaching our children to say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, and be respectful. And but the, the but AI, the computer, the internet platforms are attacking our children like World War II attack of the Germans against the Allied forces. So I want you to understand something. I was, I was dealing with uh, Rainbow Far yesterday, 
and uh, the things that she's gone through. The, the matter, and then her, early this morning, I got a call about her sister, Precious, going through a sickness, a vicious attack. Uh, even sicknesses that weren't, listen, there are sicknesses that people are dealing with now that weren't even sicknesses 100, 150 years ago. But, but Rainbow was, has a father living in a house at present. He's, he's an elderly man. He's from Nigeria, from an entire different culture of relating to people, helping one another. We stand with one another. We don't try to destroy. We don't rob and try to take down one from that culture years ago. Well, you can't find that culture now. You can't find that in Harlem no more. You got to lock your doors and then stand behind your door with a shotgun. That's how wicked things have become. But one of the, one of the lifeline, Art Law Ministry, Atla Pulpit of Power, Oprah and Rewards Prayer Meeting, the Manning Report, the Trust in the Lord Hour, they are lifelines to those of us who are experiencing. Now, a whole lot of people are dying, a whole lot of people are sick, a whole lot of people are committing suicide, a whole lot of people can't see their way through. But you are, just keep holding on. And you deserve an award. You deserve the Elder Butler Award. Because it, ain't, it wasn't like this. Our parents didn't have to suffer. Our parents didn't have to have haters the way they hate today. Our parents didn't have to have false prophets the way they are today. Our parents didn't have to deal with the LGBTQ the way they are today. Our parents, our forefathers didn't have to deal with this. We can leave our doors open at night. Not anymore. It's only going to get worse. But the Oprah Awards, prayer meeting, the pulpit of power, the trust in the Lord is a lifeline. And don't you ever, ever forget it. So I want to congratulate you wherever you are, no matter whether you're living in Brisbane, Australia, or whether you're living in London, England, whether your sister Millie Biswas over in London, England, or Brother Canaan in London, England, or whether your brother Amen Springfield out in Seattle, Washington, or Sister Estevez down in, 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 in Florida. I want to congratulate you at this hour and give your reward. Your reward is the Elder Butler reward for having made it and still standing. I'm still standing in the midst of unprecedented times and my brother and my sister is gonna get worse. But if we keep hanging on to the Atla ministry and the voice crying out in the, in the wilderness of North America here in Harlem, New York City, now Atla, the voice crying out, if we hold on to this, we will make it. We will make it to Jesus sets his foot down on the ground and the devil is bound with a chain into the bottom of his pit. We will make it. Congratulations. Will you receive this award, the Elder Butler Reward, for having made it through the most crucial times? Your parents never had to deal with what you're dealing with. Your great-grandparents wouldn't know what to deal. Your great-great-grandparents would not, they would not know how to walk down the street today with what's going on. But you, you, you're still holding on. Praise Almighty.